Thanks, Glenn. Right now in Atlanta, wounded soldiers are getting unique, life-saving treatments for traumatic brain injuries. Channel 2's Linda Stouffer was the only reporter along as Georgia Senator Johnny Isaacson met with military members who at first could not find any help. Bullseye. The bullseye is virtual now. In Afghanistan, the mortars were real. And Navy medic Kyle Schwerer suffered what's become the signature injury of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, traumatic brain injury. I didn't understand why my head was mm -hmm. acting the way it was acting. Military hospitals told him he'd get better. They just kept handing me meds over and over and over. But he didn't really recover until he went to Shepherd Center's SHARE initiative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, something hurt. No, no. How bad hurt. Right. Where doctors use a combined, specialized treatment for traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder with, with cognitive training, hands-on therapy. Hey. And today, a guest, yeah. Senator Johnny Isaacson, who serves on the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee. Now, where were you injured? In Iraq. And while wounded veterans fight to recover, the SHARE initiative is in a constant battle for funding. Insurance only pays about 37 cents of every dollar they spend on therapy and equipment, which means they need to raise about $100,000 every month. The VA is under tremendous pressure. The federal budget's under tremendous pressure. Senator Isaacson told me he plans to brief federal leaders about the innovations at SHARE. If we ever owed that to anybody, we owe it to the men and women who volunteered to go to Iraq or Afghanistan to fight on our behalf. Corman Schwerz told me for the first time in two years, he's better. 100%. These people have sacrificed so you and I can do what we're doing. We owe them everything. In Buckhead, Linda Stouffer, Channel 2 Action News. The treatments are offered at no cost to military patients. Private donations cover most of the cost. We've posted links on our website at WSBTV.com.